Right, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to show you a few things because um, I never got to do this a little while ago when I... Hello! I was just perched down there doing nothing. Um, I didn't get a chance to do this a few months ago when everything was actually being done so I wanted to show you the final result and um, this was the reason why I wasn't on YouTube because I was having the kitchen completely redeveloped so yeah, I'll just quickly run you through it and show you what the changes are um, up here we have this box which is the cover for the boiler so it's all nicely encased now inside a inside there um, down here is the cover for all the pipes for the actual boiler that's been encased inside that um, the walls have all been painted all the way around as you can see down there now I've had new tiling put in around the sink all the way along there all grouted lovely brand new white new sink this is made by Lamona apparently it's a very expensive uh, make and it's a very good brand as well so that's that so we got the new sink the uh, worktops run all the way down into the corner there it's all been assembled so that it opens up the room more you got your overhead cupboards which go down above as well so you've got more space for everything you need to put away the washing machine has all now been plumbed in underneath here you got your bottom cupboard which is for the cleaning material so I've got all my cleaning materials in there so you got washing powder, washing, sterilizing liquid, bleach kitchen and bathroom tap stuff mold and mildew remover all washing stuff down here, stain removing wash, linoleum, fabric conditioner washing powder and all the rest so that's there's a lot of cleaning that goes on here every week so yeah um, here you've got your drawers for all your saucepans and any other things They're bigger and deeper there's bottles in there because my flatmates making home brew at some point some homemade wine um, another one where you store your stuff as you can see they are quite deep by the drop inside so if we close that um, then you've got lower under cupboards as well the door here now opens inwards whereas before when you closed it used to turn and open facing that door over there now this is the breakfast bar on the other side which is now being used for exactly what it is we don't sit there we just make cups of tea and things from there and go and do our own thing but the kettle and the toaster are, are there bread bin there microwaves in the corner now there's less in here than there actually was when everything was taken out for it to be redeveloped so yeah looking a lot nicer which you'll see in a moment now on here I've got a brand new modern lamp so if we were to be out here at night and we didn't want the big light on see we've got no light hardly here you just flick the switch and there you have a nice bit of brightness artificial light brought out in the uh, wall so you can see what you're doing now um, coming back here we've got I've got a new deep fryer I've got a mixer so I can do my milkshakes so I can do them with milk and ice cream and the flavoured powder up here you've got quite a lot of space inside these overhead up uh, cupboards so up there we've got carrier bags a little bit more cleaning stuff extra knives and forks bits and bobs my Chinese bamboo placemats chopsticks jade bowls tea towels and extras down here this one is the tea cupboard so you got cups and all the other bits and pieces tea bags Earl Grey tea and everything else so if I want anything I'll just come from there and go straight over there and away we go this one 
is the bowl and plate cupboard. So I've got small bowls and plates, dessert bowls, casserole dishes, Pyrex dish up there for the microwave, mixing bowl. I've got my cereal there because I'm now on a diet. I'm having red berry cereal every morning and every afternoon for two weeks plus a, a proper dinner at night. So I'm hoping to lose weight before I fly out to the Dominican on the 28th of September. So that'll be nice if I can get the weight off by then. Um, in here we have all our ingredients for our cooking. So we now have balsamic vinegar, peri peri chicken, olive oil, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, peri peri sauce, reggae reggae sauce, toasted sesame oil, vanilla at the back for when I do cakes. We've now got cayenne pepper, chilli pepper, powder, sorry, um, paprika, smoked paprika, oregano, parsley, uh, barbecue sauce, french dressing, Worcester sauce, peppercorns and gravy there. Up the top we've got here we've got the basil, behind there's curry sauce, garlic, rice, salt, that's rock salt, um, uh, demerara sugar, the excess of that bag is still there. Um, up the top we've got medium heat peri peri dry rub marinade and Brazilian style barbecue dry rub marinade. Some spaghetti for when I do my spaghetti bolognese. In here is all different parts of flour and things. Some more spaghetti in there. Some bowls for on the side when you pour sauces out. Old El Paso, got some breadcrumb up there. I've got some salsa sauce here. I've got some packets and everything. Fajita sauce, lasagna sauce and curry sauce. We've got a Rogan Josh there. Bit of spaghetti of a fancy and alternate lunch. Cling film, tin foil and everything else all over. There at the back and some extras. Down here in this corner we have a bottle of red wine for later on, my carousel for herbs, salt and pepper meals, I've got infused oils here, I've got chilli infused, Italian balsamic vinegar and rosemary infused um, chilli oils there. Um, here are my knives, kitchen knives, smaller knives, bigger knives just for any extra um, kitchen roll. Down here is the freezer. The freezer is the black one, the fridge is the white one. They're all brand new. Brand new oven with a hob, complete with easy turn dials, numbered. I also indicated to show you bottom right, bottom left, top right, top left. Brand new oven which is this so you on this one you got a double top and bottom grill just a bottom grill medium heat and high heat grills as well and um, goes up to a maximum of 250 on the dial so it is looking lovely and clean I have used it but I tend to have things contained in trays or pots or something if I'm going to put them inside the oven makes it easier to keep the cleaning of it all Cutlery drawer, all my cutlery is in there, everything. Lids and bits and bobs are all in that drawer. This is my drawer where I keep my wok and my cooking pots and new pots and different bits and pieces all in there. This is the other brand new fridge, that's my flatmate's fridge. Then I've got my side here, I've got a couple of extra cupboards if I need to put anything away under there. Three brand new bins and I don't know if I showed you but we have a brand new floor put in as well which is here. So this is a tile effect lino which runs all the way up. 
and then you have a brand new front door as well which when you close it it's uh, one of those shut and it's a push up double lock but it won't open from the outside but if you turn it you can open it from the inside so I just leave that for the cats to come and go cage is on, I've got a security cage out here which is this and it's clipped with a padlock so nobody can get in um, so yeah that's the brand new kitchen um, I hope you enjoyed the video I've got to go charge my phone up now because the battery's on like 4% so if you did like the video please let me know leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new there is more content coming very soon and thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.